Good morning. I apologize for not being able to be there in person today, but thank you to Chairman Kurt Prenzler and County Board Member Clint Jones for the opportunity to participate in this Economic Development Summit and update you about what we're doing in Washington to continue investing in our nation's transportation and infrastructure system. Over the last several decades, Madison County and the Metro East have experienced significant economic growth. More houses are being built, new businesses continue to move to the region, and local institutions like SIUE, Lewis and Clark Community College, and Scott Air Force Base continue to be strengthened. It isn't a coincidence that while the region began to grow, local leaders were prioritizing and investing in transportation and infrastructure projects. In recent years, I-255 extended to connect with Route 67 in Godfrey. Local officials have worked with the Cor Army Corps of Engineers to have the region's levees updated and certified. And Highway 159 has been widened through Edwardsville, Maryville, Collinsville, and Caseyville. These are only a few of the many recent projects in the Metro East. These projects didn't happen overnight, and their completion is due to the planning and vision of leaders at every level of government. As a member of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, I'm proud to support legislation that invests in and improves our country's transportation and infrastructure systems. We are in a different era here in Washington, an era where our president has committed to investing in infrastructure. President Trump has said he wants one of his first major legislative accomplishments to be an infrastructure package. I'm looking forward to helping craft this bill in a bipartisan way to create jobs and strengthen communities in Madison County and beyond. But as we all know, what most transportation initiatives come down to is how we're gonna pay for it. I believe we need to find innovative funding opportunities that allow us to invest in a 21st century infrastructure system. I've introduced bipartisan legislation, the Partnership to Build America Act, which will create a new fund to provide financing to state and local governments for new infrastructure projects. This bill encourages public-private partnerships and uses bond sales to finance the fund. I'm also looking forward to working with the administration to eliminate red tape and further streamline not only road projects, but also reforming the Army Corps to update our nation's waterways. Thanks for all that you do for Madison County and the Metro East, and please enjoy the rest of the summit and do not hesitate to reach out to me or my staff if we can ever be of any assistance with the projects or issues you may have. It's truly an honor to represent you in Washington, D.C.